Alright guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video, I'm not going to be playing live. I'm not going to be doing any of that type of stuff that I normally do on the channel. I'm just going to be talking to you guys. I typically don't make content like this. This is not what I'm comfortable with at all, but I really feel like I need to get some things off my chest and just talk to you guys about some stuff. Now I know this is starting off like I'm going to be talking about my life and stuff like that. No, that's not the case. I'm going to be talking about Modern Warfare and certain things that, like I said, have been on my chest here recently and I feel like I really want to talk to you guys about them. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into it, man. Uh, as you guys know, last night, season three in Modern Warfare, Warfare drops and as you've seen from the title I'm disappointed to be honest with you guys we are six to seven months into this game at this point we are three seasons of content and we haven't seen one single new melee weapon added into the game at all all we've seen is overpriced combat knife skins in the shop and executions and we haven't seen a single melee weapon in close to seven months which is absolutely ridiculous infinity ward I understand you don't have to cater to my gameplay. I'm not asking you to cater to the type of content I upload on my channel, but you can add, you know, one melee weapon a season or two melee weapons a season. That would be like six melee weapons in seven months. That would be one melee weapon a month, pretty much. And it's just like, that would give me even more motivation to play this game because I would have different things to use when all I have to use is a combat knife. And it gets kind of bland and boring over time to use the same thing over and over again. And you guys already know how I feel about this game in general. Just having something else would spice it up and it would give me that motivation that I need to get back to actually play this game. And we're going to talk about my motivation and Modern Warfare and all that type of stuff later in this video. But, but just overall, I think that they should add melee weapons into this game at least one a season, man. Why don't we have at least three at this point that's been added into the game? I just, I really don't get it. So I'm not going to lie to you guys. Something that really frustrated me with this season three is just the, even the loading screen, man. Man. Look at this loading screen. It's one of the new operators that are being added to the game, and he has such badass melee weapons in his hands that we're never going to see as a melee weapon in this game. But why is that? Why, Infinity Ward? Why are you doing that? Why do you show me such cool stuff and so many cool things when it comes to executions and stuff, but you never add them into the game as melee weapons? They stay under executions. It's not that hard to add an axe that's under, like, you know, so many different operators and executions to actually put that into the game and make it a melee weapon. It's really not that hard. And as you guys can tell from my voice, I'm actually angry about this. I'm annoyed. It's just like, this is my job, right? And it's just like, they're cucking me around every corner. They already made the game how they made it. They already have the maps the way that the maps are. There's no dead silence as a perk, which I've already explained all this to you guys, right? Before in other videos. And it's just like, they still, even when the game is just not made for knifing at all, they still don't even provide me with any type of content to give me that motivation to get back on here and play again. It's almost just like they're screwing us in every single way possible when it comes to knifing in this game. But here real quickly, let's go ahead and check out the, the battle pass for season three. And I'm just going to show you guys how much content there is in this battle pass when it comes to knifing. Now, I'm not going to lie. You know, the skins are pretty cool, right? These, these first couple skins, they're dope, right? But this is the only melee weapon or not even a melee weapon knife skin that we got in the whole battle pass and we don't even have any new stuff when it comes to the uh the store and buying bundles and stuff this is the only new thing in the season three there's no executions there's nothing that you can get from this battle pass besides this when it comes to meleeing and knifing content and to be honest with you guys i'm not making a video on this this thing looks like crap it does it looks just like every other knifing blueprint that they have in this game and uh, this just like I'm going to quickly go through this. As you guys can see, there is the only the only execution there is, is this one with the dog. And I'm not going to use that. I mean, I'm knifing, right? I don't want a dog running around and like, you know, taking everybody out. I, I want a knifing execution. But just like I'm going through all this, there's I guess there's cool weapon variants. But overall, I feel like this battle pass is just extremely dry. The only thing that I remotely cared about in this whole season is probably the new maps. And I played the new map. That's probably what you guys were seeing in the background before. I got some decent gameplay on it, but it's just, you know, it doesn't really stand out to me at all. It's just, they've really, they've really made knifing extremely dry in this game. And I hate that. I hate Infinity Ward for that, man. I'm gonna be completely honest. I really do. I'm gonna go to my barracks and show you guys exactly how many days I have played in this game. I have two days and two hours played. At this time in Black Ops 4, I had at least 10 to 12 days played on that game. Five to six months in that game, I definitely had maybe even more than 10 days played because I hit Master Prestige, I believe, in January. So the game dropped in October and I hit it in January. And uh, so I have literally two days played in this game. I have a total of how many kills do I have on here? Check my kills. I have 7,500 kills. That's all I have. Because I just don't play this game. I don't have any incentive. There's no ranking system that 
uh, allows me to, you know, say prestige and stuff and, you know, still grind, even though I'm not necessarily enjoying it just to give me something to do. No, you have level 155 and that's all you can do. Not to mention this game forces me to use a riot shield because everybody plays the way that they do. The maps are built the way that they're built. And it's just, it's so demotivating to even try to play this game at times. And I'm sorry that I haven't posted content like I should have been on this game. And it feels really fucking weird for me not to play this game all year long and not to put actual time and effort into this game like I did in World War II, like I did in BO4, which I played throughout the whole year. It just, it feels so weird not playing this game. I feel like... I feel like I'm so bored in my life right now because I don't have a Call of Duty game to play on a consistent basis that I actually really enjoy. And obviously, I've done everything in Black Ops 4. And it's just there's nothing else for me to really do in that game. I'm just kind of bored with it at this point. I mean, it's fun. I do get crazy gameplays, but I'm kind of bored with it. Something I've thought about a lot is maybe I was expecting too much out of this game. I know like Modern Warfare Remastered, right? It had so many melee weapons, and I was kind of expecting that same energy from Infinity Ward, and, you know, the same shit that Raven did in Modern Warfare Remastered. I was expecting Infinity Ward to do the same thing for this game, but that's just not the case, and maybe I was just so spoiled when it came to melee content in World War II and BO4, because BO4, we had we had the Reaver, we had, like, 10 melee weapons, uh, we had the, the Bayonet, the, uh, the Stiletto Knife. We had uh, the ballistic knife, the like I said, the reaver, the just you know, so many different things. The specialist, the uh, specter specialist. We had so many different things added throughout the year when it came to mailing and just content around what I do in the game in general. And I guess I was just spoiled. But the more I think about it, Infinity Ward's last game, Infinite Warfare, only had a couple different melee options in that game. And the two of them they added into the game got added in the last month of the game. They had a total of four melee options. They had the combat knife, the throwable axe, which was dope. That was such a cool, like, you know, idea to put into the game, right? And then they also had a uh, katana and nunchucks. But the katana and nunchucks didn't get added until the last month of the game. And then the throwing axe was the only thing that got added throughout the whole life cycle of that game i guess infinity ward as a whole has kind of just disappointed me and it really sucks because this was a game i was looking forward to and it was a game that i was really wanting to happen for such a long time i wanted a modern warfare reboot i wanted to have fun playing a modern call of duty game and knifing everybody people raging at me getting good gameplay showing you guys the best content i possibly can but I've just been nothing but unmotivated to play this game, and I'm sure you guys can tell that by the time I have played on it. I have literally two days played. All right, so what I'm going to do is go through these operators real quick and just show you guys some of these animations that could be added into the game as melee weapons. For example, even the new uh, finishing move for Alex. Just look at this right here, man. You have an axe. Why isn't the axe added into the game? Like, it just came out. Why don't you guys add this as a melee weapon and on top of that have it as an execution? I just, I really just don't understand an Affinity Ward. I really don't. Um, for this guy, his finishing move, it's the Achilles heel, right? No, that's that's a knife, right? I'm going to go through these and uh, figure out the other ones that have different stuff that I can show you guys real quick. So the next operator that has something that could be added as a melee weapon is Otter. Look at his finishing move right here. Why hasn't this been added as a melee weapon in the game? That would be so dope to run up and just smack somebody with it and just go about my day. I would just, I would love for these things to be added into the game, man. And the same thing right here for Charlie. Like, look at this animation. Why hasn't this been added into the game as a melee weapon? Why? We've had so many seasons, so many opportunities, Infinity Ward, and so many cool things when it comes to operators that you guys just haven't added in yet, right? This one, for example, this one right here, Knife to Meet You. He literally throws two throwing knives in his back. Why can't we run around with two knives in our hand and just, like, stab people like the ballistic knife animation was in, like, say, BO1? And then the next operator right here, Zane. Zane has some really cool finishing moves that could have been melee weapons. For example, his base uh, finishing move is a machete. Why don't we have a machete in the game, Affinity Ward? Why? Why don't we have a club? Why wasn't this added in season during March? This, this would have been such a cool melee weapon to have during that time. To run around and smack people with a club. They could have definitely added an axe. They could have added a machete. They could have added so many different things. There's a lot of operators I don't have unlocked that probably have really freaking cool animations as well. But um, overall, I just... It just sucks, man. It really does suck that we don't have these melee weapons in the game. We don't have content in the game. And it's just, it's just extremely dry to me. And I really hope that they change this in the future. Because at the end of Infinite Warfare, they added a bunch of cool melee weapons uh, that had really really cool perks on them too i think they're called perks or maybe just aspects about them where like when you would knife somebody it would explode their body or something but hopefully we don't have to go through the rest of this year without even a single melee weapon added to the game because i want something different i want something to use something different than a combat knife at times i, I want to switch it up
So that's pretty much it, man. I just wanted to talk to you guys about that because it's something that's been on my chest for a while. It's something that's really killed my motivation for this game. And overall, I just, I want to see cool shit in this game. I just want this game to be fun. I really do. So yeah, that's about it. I feel like I've been rambling on forever at this point. You guys get what I'm talking about, but I just want Infinity War to do better. I want them to actually add fun stuff to use in this game. I'm sure a lot of you guys would love to run around with a club melee weapon and axe as a melee weapon. And just run around with something different, something fun, something unique, and just something new. We need something new. So yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it for the video. Like I said, I'm rambling on too much at this point, and uh, you guys kind of get the gist of what I'm talking about. I'm just overall, I'm disappointed in Infinity War, and I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.